Because of the nature of electrical systems, some of the power that is produced at a power plant is not usable by the consumer. To a utility, unusable power represents lost revenue. To minimize losses, utilities try to reduce the amount of power that is unusable and increase the amount that is usable. They sometimes do this with substation capacitor banks and shunt reactors. In this part of the program, we're going to look at conditions that cause power to be unusable, and we'll look at how a capacitor bank and a shunt reactor compensate for those conditions. The primary purpose of a power plant is to produce usable power, which we'll call working power. Working power is voltage and current that perform work. A key factor is what the current is used for. Some devices use nearly all of the current that they draw to perform useful work, such as the current that is used by incandescent lights, or the current that is used for resistance cooking. However, some of the power that is produced at a power plant does not perform useful work. We'll call this power non-working power. Non-working power is voltage and current that do not perform work. Again, a key factor is what the current is used for. Some devices do not use all the current that they draw to perform useful work. For example, an induction motor needs a certain amount of current, called magnetizing current, to create a magnetic field in the motor. The magnetizing current does not perform work. Only after the magnetic field is created by non-working magnetizing current can working current operate the motor and perform work. Transmission lines also need a certain amount of current that does not perform useful work. The current needed to charge the lines, called charging current, does not perform work. Long, high-voltage transmission lines may draw a lot of non-working charging current in order to deliver working power from one location to another. The power in a transmission and distribution system generally includes both working power and non-working power. The relationship between working power and non-working power determines the efficiency of the power that is produced. We can show this relationship using a simplified illustration.